Welcome back everybody, it's Trippy Cakes here, and today I have an Avengers Endgame slash rant slash whatever else you want to call it. Uh, anyway, this is the Avengers End Wellage update that I'm going to be talking about. It's not out yet, but it is just around the corner. And let's face facts, this is going to be an enormous, enormous patch. Now, we don't know in terms of if they're going to bring new game modes or whatever the case may be. But I've been looking at it and, you know, almost being VIP 20, I, I really started to analyze what I'm getting out of this game at this point. Now, I love Marvel Future Fight. I do. It is a awesome amazing concept but they keep on like it's like they'll dig a hole and then fill it with sand and then over time that sand erodes and then the hole is there again it basically what i'm saying is this is starting to become a cycle that i'm not liking and um like i'm looking at this last update 4.9 and i'm not i'm not impressed with it to be honest like, I am naturally the type to, you know, go and try and get everything they can, um, everybody they can that comes out, the uniforms, the whole shebang, primarily for, you know, YouTube reviews and stuff like that. But at this point, I'm looking at my 187 characters in 12 tier 3, working on my 13th one, which is Wolverine. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, you know what? I got all these characters, but they're not. They're adding stuff, but they ain't adding nothing. Like Shadowlands. Shadowlands was a little bit of a slap to the face when they were like, you're going to go beyond and it's going to be infinite floors. Well, in theory, that is freaking awesome. But they went and they still managed to, to ruin it. Like, just make it the same. All they had to do was take the characters that are already in this game, throw additional floors, right? And then even if it was the same floors, but, you know, and they wanted to keep that whole infinite Shadowlands concept, well, it could have been random floors, and each time you clear through 30, uh, you know, the 30 floors, you, you go up a tier, and your rewards get better, and it gets more difficult, you know? So it could have essentially ended up being like, I don't know, five tiers between, or no, six tiers between two resets, you know? Uh, and then, so like the first week, you can go through it three times, and then once you get to 33 times, you know, there it is. And then on the next reset, which is that following Thursday, they can be like, hey, are you ready to go to tiers four through six? Or do you want to start back off at tier one and then do it that way? And then they could have added all these new characters that they had, all this other kind of crap. But instead, they wanted to do the whole RNG loot box crap again. And it's getting a little bit tiring. So at, at this point, I'm looking at end game and I'm like, it's probably going to be a bunch of uniforms. I'll I'll bite into that because I like the uniforms. I really do. But I don't like how the price of the uniforms has increased, but they're giving minimal changes like, OK, they just kind of it's just it's a little bit of a slap to the face. And as much money as they're getting, they can afford to do actual content. They could tweak ac timeline battle could be better i'm sure they made more than enough money to stabilize a server for some actual pvp where it's live you know there's all kinds of crap that they essentially have the potential to do and let's be honest for a tier two ticket is 40 bucks that's like two used games three if you got the right ones um a uh, mega tier two ticket, 79 bucks. That right there is a deluxe edition of a game. I paid l probably less than that for Resident Evil 2 deluxe edition on PS4. And the, basically what I'm saying is these guys, they got a cash cow that is made out of gold, which is us, the community player base, and they're beating the crap out of it. And the only difference is they're not feeding us premium grass. Now, if they were beating the crap out of us and giving us a lot of great content, then by all means you they have the right to or not the right then there will be some kind of justification for the prices that they have and them always having sales quote unquote and it's like okay well you know sales are great and everything but what about the people that are playing this crap daily you look at these 30-day rewards and as of now they're a joke you know before they were they were good rewards what about you know throughout the week you get the same kind of crappy rewards and then at the end of the week you hook some people up with some CCF or something, or, you know, maybe a book, uh, you know, anything. Just something to show, basically, you that Netmarble is trying to keep its player base. Now, they're expanding, and they've got whales. And basically, at this point, a lot of whales that are still playing are like, well, 
there's no sense in not playing anymore since I've already invested so much into this. And that's the hook, line, and sinker. Um, at this point, if you are, you know, pretty invested into the game, then there's no reason for you to quit. Even if you stop spending, you're still going to play the game. And who knows, you might even end up slipping around and buying something. Who knows? Well, well, basically, what I want you guys to take away from this is that they need to do better. And that's just facts. Anyway, please do like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think down below. I'm out.